What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. It's your boy G Smoke back with another one. And yeah, today is a good one. Well, if you win to this type shit. And yeah, today we'll be talking about a new movie that just came out called Tomorrow War. Brand new alien flick. Fire. And when I say fire, I mean Fuego Fire. Get out! Your fuego fire, I mean, good, yo. Good, like, if you went to alien films, yo, then shit, you gotta see this. No cap. No cap, you gotta see this shit. And I mean, uh, I, know, I don't know if you watched my previous video, but I was, you know, I had on there talking about a uh, quiet place and shit. So, yeah, I mean, it could be up there with that, really. Before I go into too much, though, Let's just go ahead and check out this motherfucking trailer, yo. Which the movie is out. Well, let's check out the trailer, yo. Okay, none of you are my child. Has anyone seen Miri? That's my dude right there, man. That's the dude who played in uh Galaxy. The Galaxy movie, I forgot, Avengers of the Galaxy or some shit like that. Are Guardians of the Galaxy. War, 30 years in the future. Her dress is a Our enemy is not human. We need you to fight. You got drafted. I will be back. Why is this happening? What about the teacher's deferment and the veteran's deferment? If I don't go, they're going to draft you in my place. I do be playing the hell out of some roles, man. man. You All my mom will say he's like Patrick Swayze. If something Swayze. happens to you, Dan, 70% well, man, I ain't know where the fuck Patrick Swayze was. I'm Too like, bad man does his best for his family. Come on, man. Okay. Move your shirt, please. The woods for? It was just a test. Oh, a seatbelt. Was it a driving test? No? You don't have jokes in the future? Ah! This device facilitates your jump to and from the future war. One minute to jump. Yeah, I love that future shit. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Shit is just placed in the you're future. You gotta love it, bro. Are you so calm? So, it's a oh, reality, right? Yeah, you military? Yeah. Kind of a short story, I guess. Three, two, one. In 11 months' time, all human beings in the future will be wiped from the face of the earth. That's some scary sound of shit, ain't it? Unless you help us. I do some meteor, but to some aliens. I was trying to save my shit. daughter. I gotta save the world to save her, then I'm gonna do it. This is the end. The human species will disappear from the face of the earth. We are literally living on borrowed time. There's still a chance that we can stop this war from ever happening. So we gotta fight. Well, it was nice knowing it's you. Good action. All them babies, bro. They don't, do a, they, they don't show you too much of it, which is, a, you know, it makes you really want to watch it, which you should watch it. This is a real good scene right here. That motherfucker growling. That old alien growl. So, yeah, that was the trailer, y'all. Movie fire shit, y'all. Movie fire. Uh, the main character, I forget his name, yo, but the dude who played in Guardians of the Galaxy, dude who played Star Lord, dude goes hard in this movie, yo. He does. He serves his purpose, yo. Most definitely. And uh, I must, I must gotta say, if you like movies like Alien, a fucking Quiet Place, uh, that LA movie, I forgot what it's called, uh, Independence Day. I'm telling you, this is this might be one of the best Alien movies to come out, man. Like, I'm not, I wasn't a big super fan of the old franchise Alien movies, but, you know, once they start getting with Alien vs. Predator and shit, I start locking in, you know what I'm saying? That was cool, that was cool. But, like, real talk, it always relies on the look of Alien, if you ask me. If it's got a fire creation of the alien you know what i'm saying it makes you just be more you know on, like on edge when you see it on camera or when you see it on the screen for the time it's on the screen and i must say yo the alien that they created in this film yo is off the chain just like creature as fuck just like 
otherworldly as fuck. I will admit it kind of got some similarities to the Quiet Place monster, but when you really think about it, Quiet Place didn't put too much of. Um, I guess they did have a couple scenes where they show the alien up close and shit, and his head spraying apart and all that shit. But man, this one, this alien, this one, bro. If I had to put an alien versus alien, bro, I would think this alien will. Quiet place ass. I ain't gonna cap, man. This alien right here goes crazy in this movie. I mean, goes dumb. Goes dumb. You know what I'm saying? And uh, the plot is the plot is the plot is fire. You know, the whole sending him in the future, uh, send a whole bunch of people in the future to uh, help fight the war. Fire, yo. You gotta watch it. Like no cap. Uh, let's see what else. Um, there's some scenes in there where it shows. Uh, the abilities of the aliens that'll just fucking blow your mind like damn these aliens can do any and everything type shit and it's just like it pitch yourself in these people it really puts you in a, a state of like pitting yourself in these people's shoes to the point where you're like man if i was in this motherfucking situation could i survive you know what i'm saying and honestly i ain't gonna cap bro i ain't gonna cap bro if Put me in the war against some other motherfucking humans. Hey, I'm gonna go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do my thing, bro. But put me in the war against some motherfucking aliens. I might shit myself. No cap. <laughs> no motherfucking cap, yo. These aliens in this motherfucking movie, bro. Oh my god, yo. No fucking cap. These motherfucking aliens are how you fucking scared as hell. Scared as hell. I mean, I mean, oh my god. It's just one scene when a black dude running out of stairs from like that they they really show the alien for the first time, and the black dude just running out of stairs, just tripping the fuck out. And I promise you, I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> Cause dude, them aliens, bro, they 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 they. Pfft. I'm telling you, you watch this movie, you are gonna be like, hell yeah, hell yeah, the motherfucking aliens would have me, pfft. have me fucked up, man. F fuck, I probably would have forgot I had a gun in my hand. That's how motherfucking. Intimidating these motherfucking aliens look, yo, in this movie, yo. I mean, the first time they, they like, they, okay, I, uh, you know how some movies come on and it kind of has a, a, a off rip uh, kick into the action. This movie not like that. It kind of, kind of, kind of has a little time where it stretches out a little bit to uh, kind of explain what's about to go on, but it's not boring in that time. It kind of uh, keeps you interested in what it's saying as far as what they about to go through and shit. <laughs> And then when they finally do get to us the scene where they about to show the alien and for the first time they show the alien his face and up close and the, the little kind of like super ability it got which is not like a super ability it's kind of like just you gotta watch it but the first scene when you see him bro oh my god it's gonna it's just kind of like Ooh, look at that motherfucker uh, it's about to, about to get on our ass bro and it's just like oh from that point forward the action is just 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 crazy just good just keeps you on your edge of your seat and uh oh man just a good fucking alien film man man if you like alien films smash that motherfucking like button no cap smash that like button because we need to get we need to we need to just you know get this you need to get videos like this review videos like this and everything more in the ag algorithm so the motherfucking universal studios and whoever the fuck uh, gonna create alien movies to make more that's fire like this, bro. Cause you know, once you watch a movie and uh, you've seen it so many times, you need another one. You need another fire one, whether it's different or kind of alike, but just fire too. Smash that like button so we can get this shit out there. Cause the movie is fucking fire. If you wanna go watch the movie and see if I'm telling the motherfucking truth and then come back and like this shit, like it, yo. Cause look. We need to get this word out there. This movie was fire, and we need more alien fire movies like it. No cap, yo. <sighs> Man, such a good movie, such a good movie. <sighs> Let's see. I found it crazy when uh, uh, when uh, they go into the future for the first time, and a, and the malfunction and the malfunction happened where they end up landing elsewhere than where they was supposed to land. And, uh, they just happened to land safe other than, okay, a lot of them died, granted, but 
you know, most of them landed safe, and how they landed was just kind of like, hmm, that shit was extra fucking lucky, yo, extra lucky, like, how the fuck y'all just happened to land like that, even if, like, even if you did land from that motherfucker high up in the damn sky, and you hit some motherfucking water, I could have sworn they said you would be fucking paralyzed, you would break something still, because impacting water from a high-ass depth can still fucking injure you to a serious motherfucking, you know, serious value. But yeah, them boys, them boys landed, and they got straight to work. The main character though, he was he had some previous, some previous motherfucking um, you know, experience with being in the war and shit. So he was you know, what better than to have a person like that lead the pack? You know what I'm saying? He was definitely leading the pack. Star Lord, my boy Star Lord, beast in this movie, beast. And, uh, yeah, the overall message in, sh in this shit was supposed to, be supposed to be about fathers, you know. Fathers, you know, playing their role, you know, pretty much being the hero of a fucking family, you know what I'm saying, saving the family and shit. I got, you, you got fucks with that, man. Because if you're a father like I am, you just, you know, on a daily basis, you feel like you you doing your hero role, you know. Period. You waking up and you being a hero. That's just, that's just what it's got to be when you're a father, yo. <laughs> So that message alone in this movie was just like, ah, just, ah, tasteful, you know what I'm saying? It just, hey, you a father, you watch this movie, bro, you gonna be like, man, that was, hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? I felt, dude, I felt everything, every and everything that he was going through with Star-Lord in this motherfucking movie. <laughs> he was definitely doing his thing, man. And, uh, Tomorrow War, fire-ass film, yo. Go get this motherfucking movie on your big screen right now. Maybe the whole family, if 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 the kids like can, can withstand ugly ass monsters on the TV and ain't gonna be crying and fucking up the film and shit. It wasn't even my drift. We done. Woo, you motherfuckers just look in. Look at that. Look at my new growth, y'all. Ratchet. But yeah, get the family together and watch this motherfucking movie, yo, cause it's worth it. Uh, extra, extra. Extra fuego, fire fuego, and uh, yeah, it's a must watch film, y'all. And that's it for this one, y'all. We're gonna be back.